Hey everybody, Barry shaved, so I did too. It's weird. I'm Hector Navarro, let's talk DC TV. First up tonight, Monday night, on an all new Lucifer on Fox. When a youth counselor is murdered, Lucifer and Chloe have to enter the world of high-end reform programs to try to find the killer. And in that mix-em-up, Lucifer becomes a new substitute youth counselor. Uh-oh, oh no, kids, they're trying to better their lives and here comes the devil. What's he gonna tell them to do? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Yes, it's the devil we're talking about. Yes, Lucifer. I mean, Lucifer's on this whole kick right now where he believes that people can really, truly never change. Big surprise. Come on, Lucy. You should know better by now, man. People can change. Meanwhile, Chloe is re-evaluating Lieutenant Pierce's feelings towards her. She's like, what? What's this about? What's all this? Does he like me? Is he actually mad at me all the time? What's going on? And a mini deal might have to ask himself, WWLD, what would Lucifer do? Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> he's gonna act like Lucifer? I don't know if he's got it in him, Amenadiel. Come on, man, you're too smooth, you're too nice, you're too cool. Anyway, that's what's happening on Lucifer tonight. Be sure to check it out or go to hell. And also tonight on Supergirl over on the CW, Eliza throws a wedding shower for Alex and Maggie. And in this episode, Maggie, she reaches out to her estranged father and it is emotional to say the least. Uh, this was uh, pretty, pretty incredible to watch and, and it was fantastic. So gotta be sure to check out Maggie's storyline in tonight's episode. And meanwhile, Supergirl is joining John Jones on a very personal mission. And I'm gonna tell you this, John's car is a shape-shifting, old-timey 50s badass car. It's awesome. We're going to Mars, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys may have heard or may not have heard, but I'm going to tell you right now. If you're a fan of the classic cartoon show Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, like me, then you have to watch tonight's episode of Supergirl. Why? It's been teased. You might know that it's out there. You might not. But actor Carl Lumbly is playing John Jones' father, Mryn Jones. Who's Carl Lumbly, you ask? You may recognize his voice as the voice of Martian Manhunter from Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. It's perfect, it's perfect, you guys. The Martian Manhunter that is in my head every time I read a comic book is now the father of the Martian Manhunter that I see on Supergirl. It is awesome, you're gonna have to check it out. And if you want the background on Jean's family and his secret origin, then look no further than your comic book connect. Right now, I'm giving it to you. Go get Martian Manhunter Volume 2, issue number 33 from 2001. This is a storyline called In My Life. It starts right here, one of four issues. And in this issue, you've got the origin of Jean Jones himself. From when he was born as a little baby green baby, all the way to when he becomes a manhunter, which is kind of like being a cop on Mars. You've got the first appearance of his father, Mryn Jones. You've got his mom, Shashin Jones, who she is actually the manhunter of the family, so he decides to take after his mom. And then you've also got John Jones' evil twin brother, Malefa Ek. This guy, whew, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but I'll tell you what, he's got a real dark side. Does the secret history of Mars have something to do with Apocalypse? God, I wanna tell you more, but honestly, go get this comic book, it is fantastic. And do yourself a favor, do not miss Supergirl happening tonight. And on an all new Flash, luck be a lady tomorrow night, because that's what's happening on The Flash. On Tuesday, new villain shows up by the code name of Hazard, thank you Cisco, and she is a new meta named Becky Sharp. Now Becky has the power to give other people bad luck while giving herself good luck. So all of a sudden, Team Flash is dealing with crazy bad luck. Oh man, oh boy, is it luck or quantum entanglement? That is an interesting question. I guess we'll get the answer on Tuesday night. Plus, Harry Wells comes back, visits Earth One to deliver a message to Wally from Jesse, which is great. Except where's, where's Jesse? Why isn't she delivering this message? Uh-oh, <laughs> is she okay? Is it, a, is it a John Deere letter or is it a breakup cube? <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what's gonna happen. And we finally get the answer in tomorrow night's episode to the question, is the Flash faster than a Prius. You're gonna have to watch it to find out. Now, if you want the skinny on the new meta, Hazard, AKA Becky Sharp, then check out this classic Hazard moment from DC Comics. I'm gonna give you your comic book connect right here. Go get Young Justice, volume one, issue number 23 from 2000, starts a brand new storyline called Australia Games. Superboy, Wonder Girl, Robin, Impulse, their teammate, Arrowette, 
is playing for the U.S. Archery Olympic team, so they have to go down under where the games are being held. I want to apologize right now to all of our Australian viewers because I'm going to butcher this accent. Real sorry about it, mate. I'm going to try. Here we go. So, when they're down under in Australia, playing in the Olympic Games, another country shows up called Zendia. If you don't know this, Zendia is a country full of criminals and bad guys. Yeah, real bad, including Hazard. She's on there too. Wait a minute, wait a tick. Is she gonna use her bad luck powers in the games? Well, that's not fair then, is it? Oh boy, oh boy, is her luck gonna finally crap out? Oh, mate, you gotta check out that comic book to find out. Read it, read a comic book, ignore my accent, and be sure to watch The Flash tomorrow night. And that's not all, guys. Be sure to check out a brand new episode of Legends of Tomorrow on Tuesday night. And on Thursday, you've got new episodes of Arrow and Gotham. You're welcome. All right, y'all, it's time for questions and answers. Last week, I asked you guys, who do you think would have the most dramatic fallout if their superhero secret identity were revealed in a DC TV show? And y'all had answers. Here we go. Let's check them out. First up, Batman Jr. asks, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a Northern English accent. What did I tell you last season, Hector? Well, actually, my accent was from a fictional world from a very popular television show, so it was super accurate. Somebody can say that it's not. <clears throat> Jordan Valdez says, I think Supergirl would have the biggest fallout if her secret identity were made public, since I believe that the reveal of that is going to be the thing that makes Lena turn on Kara. Gunnar Tignor says, Lucifer, because people would freak out if they found out that the actual devil is among us. But would people believe it, though? Anthony Leach very sarcastically says, Superman obviously would have the most massive fallout. Everyone would be shocked that they couldn't tell that they are one and the same. Come on, man. You'd be surprised how many times I walk around without my glasses and people are like, who are you? It works. I've, I've done it. I've seen it happen. It works. It works. See how different and weird that was? It's easy, man. I could be a superhero. Maybe I am. Maybe you don't know. Finally, Bill Olive says, hello to all, and to all have a great day or night. Just some great positivity in YouTube. I just like reading that comment. So thank you so much, Mr. Bill Olive. All right. And that brings us to our next question of the week. All right, guys, so this week on Lucifer, he became a substitute youth counselor. So the question I pose to you, if you went to a summer camp, what DC TV superhero or character would you want to be your youth counselor and why? Let us know in the comments below. Heck, you can even say Lucifer if you want. Let us know. It'll be fun. The most creative answers are going to get read on the show, so, you know, put some effort into it. And that's it for DC TV this week. That's all I can possibly tell you without spoiling everything. I don't want to do that. But remember, after all of the episodes there, head over to DCComics.com for all of those great hashtag DCTV Couch Club recaps, eh? We'll see you next time. Good day. I apologize.